Hey guys, and welcome to another week of State of the Market. I am Mark Vittori, and I am joined by my co-host, Jennifer Boudol. And this week, we have a jam-packed episode on latest findings on housing value increases and the latest signs of life for long-awaited development, one circular key here in Sydney. Awesome. So guys, house values increased by 17,000 or 2.4% nationally over the next first quarter of 2022, despite declines in Sydney and Melbourne. March data from CoreLogic shows the National Home Value Index increased by 0.7% in March at a slightly higher rate growth, more than 0.6% increase in February. Brisbane, Adelaide, Perth and the ACT all experienced stronger growth in house values while Sydney's growth slowed down from 9.3% to 0.3% during the first quarter. Mm. Melbourne also recorded a fall from 5.8% in April 2021 to just 0.1%. House values in regional areas rose faster, 5.1% and also in capital cities by 1.5%. Very interesting there. So guys, what we can see is Core Logic, Core Logic Research head of research, Tim Lawless, said that housing growth was losing momentum. Virtually every capital city and major rest of state region has moved through a peak in the trend rate growth sometime last year or earlier this year. Lawless said that the sharpest slowdown has been in Sydney, where housing prices are most unaffordable, advertised supply is trending higher and sales activity down over the year. The net annual house price growth rate fell below 20% for the first time since August 2021 at 18.2%. Housing turnover in the first quarter was 14.3% lower than the same period in 2021, but still 12.2% above the previous five-year average. The national level of advertising housing stock is 30% below the previous five-year average for the first four weeks of March 2022 this year, but there are differences when the figures are broken down by capital cities. After years of speculation, Hilton has finally confirmed that he has signed a management agreement with AW Holding Group owner of the One Circular Key development in Sydney. This is to launch the high-end Wardoff Astoria brand in Australia. One Circular Key is a mixed-use project with a long-term complicated history. It has started with the original owner, Dalian Wander, who bought several buildings, including the well-known Goldfields House office block to form a 4,000 square metre holding across Sydney Cove. Demolition started in 2017 to make way for a two high rise story building, a 61 level apartment building and a 28 floor level hotel, but the site lays empty and inactive for three years as the owner changed from Wanda to Yuhu and now AEW Holding Group. There were also design changes and planning holdups until Richard Crooks Construction started working on the shared six level basement in late 2020. Throughout this period, two other significant high-rise towers at Circular Quay, historically the gateway to Sydney, have soared out of the ground. Work on AMP's 49-storey Key Quarter Tower at the eastern end of Circular Quay is due to be completed by April 14, and the Salesforce Tower at Sydney Place, which is 55 storeys high and next door to one Circular Quay, is also set, scheduled to open in September this year. Hilton expects the Waldorf Astoria Sydney, a 222-room property designed by Kengo Kuma and Associates and Sydney-based Crone Architects to open in early 2025, but it is understood that no builder has yet been contracted for the construction of the towers as of yet. Things were extremely tough through 2021, but I'm happy to say from February, February this year, things have started to turn around quickly, uh, including corporate travel, especially on Eastern Seaboard, he said. We're also seeing Sydney and Melbourne, uh, also Adelaide and Brisbane rebound. It's been tremendous to see that midweek growth has opposed just to waiting, just in case it has been tremendous to see midweek growth has been increasing. Um, we're also happy to see small meetings and corporates beginning to move. One could say that the recovery is well and truly on track and perhaps even a tad earlier in 2022, he, thought, he's, he said. Uh, Mr. Houghton also said that recovery had been led by domestic travel and he was hopeful that there has been international travel normalising in the next you know, couple of months. So there's some great rebounding times to come, it looks like, in the tourism space, not only for Australia, but also for the rest of the globe post-pandemic, which is very refreshing to hear, to be honest. So guys, what we hope 
to hear from you is if you want to find out more about us, obviously contact Jennifer or myself direct. We're here to help you start your investment journey and give you insights into what is going on external to the property market itself. Until next week, guys, have a great week ahead and we'll speak soon.